What's up you guys, Jason Wardrop here. In this video, I wanna show you guys probably probably the best, like the, the top Facebook ads trick and what I'm doing. I'm gonna actually jump into my Facebook ads manager and show you guys my real Facebook ads account, which I hardly ever do if you guys have followed me on this channel. But I just wanna show you guys some of the results and how powerful this is, even if you've got kind of a small budget to go through and run your Facebook ads. Now, to kind of explain why this works so well, I wanna give a little bit of a visual and then we'll dive into the ads manager here. So. This past week, I was over at my parents' house down in Arizona, and they've got a lot of citrus trees. So they've got grapefruit trees, orange trees, lemon trees. They've got all these really cool trees. And if you're going out to go pick fruit, right, like you'll go and you'll kind of grab the fruit, and you're kind of grabbing those core ones, and you might have some fruit that falls down, or you might have a couple low-hanging pieces of fruit that you just, like, didn't see, so you didn't grab those, okay? But that's kind of like, imagine your, your main core Facebook ads campaign, right that's going out and it's going and grabbing all the fruit right well this campaign right here is going and grabbing all that low-hanging fruit that maybe you just like didn't see or maybe it dropped and you were up in the tree or something like that and so you didn't have time to go down and grab it but this campaign this ad is going towards those low-hanging pieces of fruit that maybe already picked or they're just like kind of just were maybe out of that your reach right for that ver that exact moment so I hope that example kind of made sense and if you're related to business guys this is literally probably the best thing that you could possibly do. Even if you don't have that cold campaign going out and, and getting a lot of people, like if you've got a YouTube channel or if you're just like getting people to your website or people interacting with you on Facebook, you can go through and use this exact strategy right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna go set up a very simple ad just like this one right here. And obviously you don't like, it's not like this exact ad, right? But you can see like, look, I don't even have a lot of text here. It's just very simple, straight to the point hey, download my free real estate email templates, right? And with this ad, what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm targeting every single person that maybe you know visited my website or visited my webinar registration page but maybe didn't opt in or people that have followed me on Facebook or liked a page or someone that like has already engaged with my content or they've watched a video, they basically know who I am, right? Because then it's a little bit easier. It's that it's more of that low hanging fruit, like in the example we gave earlier. Like maybe we picked that fruit from the tree, it fell down, I'm already off the tree, so um, no chance of continue growing, right? So basically, here's the ad, and let's just jump in. I want to show you guys. Well, first, I'm going to show you guys where I'm sending these people. It's a very, very simple landing page. And one thing, guys, I highly recommend: keep your landing pages super simple. A lot of you guys still get too in depth, you wanna make your landing page all pretty, you wanna do all this crazy stuff. Look how basic and boring this landing page is, guys. Look, it's got a headline, subheadline, and it's got the call to action button. They hit that, they come in and put their name, email, and they get this little opt-in right here. Actually, this one is for another one, but I'm just gonna show you guys here the email templates. So this is it, okay? So they're clicking on this ad right here, and it's the same exact thing. Get instant access to our real estate email templates. The background's why it's just very boring. It's not like this all fancy thing. And the reason why I like to kind of keep it simple and boring is because when we're sending people here, they could be they could have bad data service, right? Or they could have a bad Wi-Fi connection or whatever it might be. And so if it takes the page a long time to load, I don't know about you guys, but I just click out of those things immediately. If it takes longer than two seconds, I'm impatient. Everyone else is impatient. They're gonna click away. So you wanna make sure you have something that is very simple, very basic, and it converts amazingly well, okay? So this is kind of the ad. This is what the landing page looks like. And if we jump over here, this is my real estate email templates um, campaign right here. So you can see I've got two ad sets. I probably need to go ramp this up a little bit, but this is just the month of May, so the last 10, 11 days or so. You can see I'm not really spending a lot of money. So, well, I'm not spending a lot of money in comparison to how much I spend per day on webinar registrations. So if you go and you, let's say you have a $20 a day budget, something like that, honestly, these campaigns, you could be spending two to $3 per day and see amazing results. You could probably see close, probably, probably not exactly, but you could get pretty solid results compared to the other $18 that you're spending if you have a $20 a day budget. Okay, so I'm spending 40 bucks a day um, for the kind of like the overall what I'm spending on the daily, that, that is very insignificant, honestly. Uh, but you can see I've got two campaigns here. So this tier two, what I call tier two in my advertising language is everyone that's kind of like already seen my content, right? They, they're not that tier one, I guess. I, I don't know how I'm like initially envisioned that in my mind, but tier one, I guess, would be people that have never heard of you. They don't know about what you're doing. So this is people, tier two would be people visit your website, 
they've watched a video, they've even potentially watched a YouTube video like this, um, or they, they've gone through, they have liked a, or commented on a post, they've liked your Facebook page, something like that. And you can see right here, guys, look, $1.28 per lead. Okay, now typically on my webinar registrations, I shoot for $8 per lead. That's kind of like, um, and obviously like every industry and every business is a little bit different, but just kind of give that in comparison. I shoot for $8 per lead and I'm getting here $1.28 per lead. Okay, that's that's pretty good, right? Like that's one eighth of the cost I'm normally getting leads for with the webinar registration. And on the webinar registration, I'm just getting an email as well. Okay, and then you look at here, this one's going out to more of a broader audience. Okay, but it's only a dollar and 88 cents still. Okay, so it's very simple, very basic, straight to the point, but it's still converting amazingly well for an overall average cost of a dollar and 52 cents. So you can see I've got 160 leads, and I don't even think I started this May 1st. I don't remember what day I started it. So um, let's see, $120, $4. I, I only started three days ago. Okay, so it's, it hasn't even been that long. It looks like, okay, May 8th, May 8th to May 11th. So last three days, like I said, we spent $240 and we've got 160 leads. Okay, so that's pretty amazing, right? Like that, that's pretty cool. And then another thing where kind of like my sales conversion um, tactic is the webinar, obviously. So one thing that I do, which you can do kind of like change it around where it's like, hey, maybe they opt in and then they are scheduling a call or booking an appointment with you, right? We're right here. I come in, we'll just put in my information, hit download now. Look at this, I'm inviting them to join my webinar, right? So I'm just kind of getting them back into this funnel. And the interesting thing is, if you come in here and look at these statistics, if you look, hover over like results, you can see how many people, so 65, seven people opted in as well to that auto webinar registration page, okay? So I got 65 leads, and of the 65, I got seven, which I, that's like, what, 10%, a little, maybe a little over 10%. And so we got seven, we spent $120 total. So you're looking at, I don't know, what is that? Like $12, $15 per lead, which is not bad because that's not my main focus. Then this one right here, we've got 11. So 11 of the 95, so that's probably like what? 11, 12% conversion rate from people opting into the email templates. And then look at this, I've got two purchases on our main product, which is like 1500 bucks. I've got the email templates lead 95, um, two people have registered for my live webinar and look at all these other people like initiating checkouts, website checkouts initiated, 19 of the 95. Okay, that's pretty crazy, right? So anyway, guys, I just want to show you and that's on a tier two email. So that's going and retargeting, following up, picking up that low hanging fruit. So I just want to show you guys, literally that is just in three days since May 8th. Um, so I, I kind of, I've done this in the past and I kind of like stopped because I was going through and I was focused on some other parts of the business. And then I was like, you know what? I need to implement this back in because honestly, like if we're spending hardly any money to get these types of results, totally worth it, right? So if you guys have a business and you're not going through and following up, grabbing that low-hanging fruit, picking up the people, like targeting people who have visited your website, liked your Facebook page, watched a video on your, your Facebook page, liking or comment or any of that stuff, any, anyone who has interacted with you, you, you got to do it, right? You got to implement that right now because... This is so powerful. These results, like the results just don't lie, right? So just go through, set it up, keep it simple, okay? Right here from this ad to the landing page, right there, opt in, and then, you know, you can send them to, you know, I've got a webinar. You can have them book a call with you. Like if you're a realtor, say, hey, schedule a call with me. Could be a number of different things. So that is just one thing I wanted to go through and share with you. And sorry, it's been a while since I've shot a video um, it, it, it's just been a crazy week kind of just going through trying to catch up on a lot of things and implement some new things into our business as well. So hopefully you guys that this was helpful. If it was, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And if you guys are kind of wondering like, Hey, well, Jason, how do you go through and do like the custom audiences and target retarget people and all that stuff? Um, I've got that covered in my Facebook ads mini course, which I give you guys hundred percent free. So I will also drop a link to that mini course down in the description as well as I'll probably put it in the top comment so you guys can just go grab that and um, kind of see how this whole thing works, okay? Because I'm not going to cover how to create that because I've already done that in a ton of other videos. So anyway, if it's helpful, thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you guys thought. And if you're brand new here, make sure you guys subscribe because we try to launch, we try, I, I always say daily, 
I don't know, I go back and forth from daily to, you know, a couple times a week to like, like the last time I did a video was a week ago. So I've, I've really been slack and I've just been so slammed with other stuff in the business. So I'm trying to get you guys the best content whenever it comes up. I don't want to like just throw up content, just to throw up content. I just want to make sure it's good for you guys. And so you guys can have success and see results. With that said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.